This is a video giving an overview of the use of ABCZ software with Instant Text 7. I've typed up some notes, so I'll go through them and then start the demo. Instant Text is a very powerful text expander used by many medical transcriptionists. It's put out by Textware Solutions. It can be used in any application and with any content. I'm the proprietor of ABCZ software, which offers specialized content for Instant Text and for one other expander. The content uses a system of short forms based on a few simple rules. For detailed information, for useful links and productivity tips, please visit the website, which is noted here. The basic idea of text expansion is type a few letters, short forms, and get words, phrases, or sentences. That increases your productivity and reduces strain on your hands and wrists. I'll enter some more text from Instant Text. I've opened Instant Text 7 along with several glossaries which are opened here and which are noted here. The IT editor has been displayed, that's what we're typing in, but you could link to Microsoft Word or any Windows application. We'll take a look at these features of Instant Text. Instant Text has many powerful features. All right, let's begin. I was a medical transcriptionist for many years, retired recently, and when I dictated, I dictated for someone who I'll call Dr. Surgeon. These are the sub-glossaries that I used when I typed for him, dates, the main medical transcription glossary, and sutures, as well as two compilations from his previous work, which we'll take a look at later. Click out of this. Now suppose he was dictating and he said, I had the opportunity. I type I-H-T-O, right away the phrase appears. To enter it into the text, I hit the semicolon, or I could choose one of many other markers to see the patient, TP, in orthopedic consultation. Again, I hit the semicolon to enter it. In my office, he might say, on October 18th, today's date. If I wanted the slashed form, I'd hit the S. If I wanted the hyphenated form, I hit the H. Take the regular form. Suppose he was dictating medication. The patient was, TPW, prescribed, P-R-E-D-D -D I use as a short form. And now for the medication. I've entered 17,000 entries from Judy's drug list on a separate line. I prefer to keep it separate. I could have put it under Dr. Surgeon. And you can see here some of the many medications and dosages that are included in this drug list. So suppose he's dictating amiodarone. Type AMIO, it appears. If I wanted 200 milligrams, I type the 2. 400 milligrams to get the 4. Let's take a look at the wildcard feature of Instant Text. If I don't know how to spell a drug or any word, I'm in the drug list, so Pfizohex, P H S X, there it is right away. Pseudoephedrine, I know it begins with P S E, it's already appeared. To produce it, I type a few lines and it'll appear. I can type any left to right combination P S U P P S E H and it appears. That's the wild card feature. Any left to right combination will bring it up. Alright now let's take a look at the instant text glossaries uh, from ABCZ. The main medical transcription one has twenty two thousand entries using the simple rules of the ABCZ system which makes it easy to find and enter various words, phrases, and even entire sentences. There's also a big list of 25,000 words that can be used for medical transcription or for general typing. Notice the endings are already provided for these words. Let's see how this works. For example, if I wanted the word abbreviate, A, B, B. If I wanted the abbreviating form, a, if I wanted the form with the D, the endings are already provided. We also have a general glossary of 20,000 entries. Let's see some of the entries there. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We also have to whom it may concern. We have phrases like weight lost, first two letters of each word. We also have many subject-verb combinations. And we also have individual words. 
If I wanted forcefully, I would type the C. If I wanted formally, I could type the A. It's an example of some of the many entries under the general glossary. Now let's look at word commands, commands used in MS Word. You can use these commands to navigate and perform many operations without using the mouse and without knowing all of the shortcuts that Microsoft Word has put into the program. For example, if I want to go up three lines, I just type up three, down two, I go down two. If I wanted to copy some words, two words to the left, all that done without using the mouse and just about as fast. So that's the command feature. Let's take a look now at the continuations feature, a very powerful feature of instant text. Suppose Dr. Surgeon was dictating about the Palmer aponeurosis. I type TBAW and already there are several continuations possible on the right hand side. It was identified and open longitudinally under direct vision for another three centimeters proximal to the wrist flexion crease. That's what he's most likely to say based on his past work and I keyed all those in with a semicolon. He might want to dictate a variant Palmaraparinosis was then opened, so I hit the 6, and he might say, as a distally based U-shaped flap. So that's the continuations feature. Instant Text will predict what the dictator is going to say based on his past work. Let's look at multiple compilations. To get those continuations, you do multiple compilations. I'm going to compile from some musical terms I have because of the proprietary uh, and confidential nature of medical records. So I choose the folder, I mark the files, I extract the text, I set up the compilation, I can change the minimum word frequency and so forth. I go, and in that short time we've compiled 2,000 words and 2200 phrases for immediate use including for the continuations process. Okay, we could also take a look at our productivity for today. I've typed 210 strokes. I've gotten nearly 11, 12 strokes per key because I've used some canned text. On the right hand side here we have a better indication of the productivity you can get doing regular medical transcription two characters, two and a half, 2.78 characters per key, keystroke. Okay, that concludes the demonstration. To go to the website, that is the website, and to go there directly, we'll use the launch feature. It'll take a few seconds to get there because we are using a screen capture program, but we will get to the website. It would go very quickly uh, in ordinary usage. And so there's the ABCZ website. I hope you visit it for further information. And happy typing. And that concludes the demo.